Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the way you can fix your Blackboard sign-on error. Sometimes you want to sign on or you want to log in on Blackboard. You enter your username and your password correctly and then it gives you a page like this, Blackboard sign-on error. When this happened, there should be a way to fix it. I had to struggle a lot with it because I didn't know how to do it. I had to call the school board and they referred me to Blackboard and I had to call Blackboard. So it was not easy at all because it is, it's a technical issue that has to see with your browser and your data. So, to fix it, make sure that you're using Google Chrome or Firefox. If you're using a browser like Microsoft Internet Explorer or even Microsoft Edge, you may not be able to fix it because those browsers, there are certain programs that they don't support. I'm going to show you how you can fix it if you have Google Chrome as browser or if you have Firefox as your browser. Remember, if you have Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, before doing anything, you should, you should change the one you're using into Google Chrome or Firefox. To, let me show you the way I proceed. If you're using Google Chrome, what you have to do is control on your keyboard, you press control H, but make sure that you are on an internet page. Okay. You press on control H. And it gives you the history, okay, in your browser, your Chrome history. And then what you do, you go to the left side at the top, almost at the top level, but not at the very top level, but you can see it right there on the left, on the left side. And you click on clear browsing data. When you click on it and you have this window here with basic and advanced this is already selected in advanced which is fine if it was on basic okay so you could select advanced and right here make sure that the time range is all time if it's not all time you should change it you may find last four weeks, you may find last hour, last 24 hours, or last seven days. You should change it into all time. You keep all time and you do clear data. When you do clear data, that's the way you can fix your problem. After it says, got it, or it says, okay, and then let me do it. Okay. Clear data. I've just done some very recently. I did it. So I do it again. It's fine. And um, check now if you want to. Okay. But once you do that, you clear your data. And then once it's done, it's not going to take time for me because I have done it very recently. And then uh, you close this window. You close it, you close your history window, and now you can log into your Blackboard. So you're not going to find this page. Your problem should be fixed. This is the way I fix my problem. When I, when I found this, this is the way I proceed. 
if you're using Google Chrome, I'm sorry, if you're using Firefox, it's almost the same. It's simple, but you should know how to proceed. Let's see if we can have, uh, let, let's try with uh, Firefox. Okay, since I have Firefox already installed on my computer, so I'm just going to use it. And here it asks me if I want to use Firefox as default browser. Since I have Google Chrome, which is good, so this, I don't want to do it right now. But if I had something like Microsoft Internet Explorer, so I would consider doing it, and then I would choose it into Firefox. And I can say not now, which is fine. And then I'm on Firefox. And I go on the top right corner, you see the three, uh, three little bars, okay, as the menu. And you click on it, you go to options, you look for options, make sure you find options, you click on options, and you got options, and you go to privacy and security, privacy and security, and then you look for history or clear history, and um, let's go down, you see save, and right here, clear history. And you click on clear history. Okay, I'm gonna give you this and make sure in this window right here you don't leave it on last hour or any other ones, but you use everything. You put it on everything and then you select okay. So I've just done it, so I'm not gonna do it right now because I did it already in my computer. But when you do that, it's okay, it's like I just I did for Chrome. And then you will have everything fine. And then you will be ready to log in for login on Blackboard. So that's the way I proceed actually. Okay. And everything's fine. So you can, you, you won't have this page. I showed you before this page, you won't have it anymore. And then you can find a normal Blackboard page. Okay. So this is all for today. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet to my uh, video or my channel, please subscribe today and be ready for the next video. Thank you.